Hi guys, it's Prophet, and this is Prophet Productions, and I'm back with another video, okay? Father God, have your way right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Take over my mouth, Father. Speak through me as your instrument. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. Forgive us now of everything that we've done that was not like you. It is in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, y'all. So, this is going to be a really quick video. But what God what God is saying and I was driving home from church and I could just feel that he was going to speak um, God says there is a brand new life that he has for you there's a brand new life that he has for you Everything that you have prayed for is about to happen quickly for you, okay? See, I was talking to him earlier today and before church and I said, Lord, I feel like the last five years of my life has been in vain. I feel like the last five years of my life literally literally has been in vain i have sacrificed i've been obedient i've you know walked up i've done all these things that you asked me to do and i still didn't see what i prayed for when i went into the situation okay i really began to talk to him and i was like i literally feel like it was all a waste it was all a waste like i could have did so many other things and what God is saying is your sacrifices was not in vain. It was actually to prepare you for what you prayed for. See, when you first prayed for that thing that you desperately wanted, whether it was a marriage, whether it was a baby, whether it was a company, whether it was wealth, whatever that thing your family say, whatever that thing is that you prayed for, that you desired with all of your heart and, and and God is saying, whatever that thing is, I have took you on a journey. And through this journey, you now have learned that your desires, what you want for your life, you don't know. You now have come to a place where you have surrendered and you're saying, not my will, but your will be done, Lord. You are at a place now where I'm about to give you what I've always had for you. You thought you wanted something else. So I gave you that. And now you see that that does not fit your life. Now you see that what you prayed for, this journey that you have went on, is taking you to a place of complete surrender to what I have for you. Let me break that down. Many times we ask God for something and God is looking and he's like, that don't fit you. You're asking me for that right now because that's where you are right now. But that doesn't fit you. I know where I'm taking you. I know I, I know what's in front of you. I know your past. I know your future. I know you're right now. I created you. I know what works for you. We look at the right now. God, I want a husband. I want a kid. I want a kid. I want, you know, we ask for these things in the situation that we're in, the mindset that we're in. And a lot of times we're not asking for where we're going. We're literally asking in that moment. So let's say you are just lonely, right? You just lonely and you just down and out and you're like, I just wish I had somebody, Lord, you know, just give me somebody, Jesus. And you, because you're in a desperate place, you start asking for some stuff, stuff that don't even fit you, stuff that don't, but you just asking because you're just desperate at this point, right? And God is looking at you and he's like, but I got something else for you, but he knows this person is not going to stop until I give them what they think they want. So many of you, God is give, God gave you what you thought you wanted. And it wasn't a waste because it grew you. It taught you. Wait a second. I don't know. When I ask for stuff, I don't know what I want. When I ask for stuff, that stuff don't. Like, you didn't understand when you were asking for that that you were actually broken. God knew. But he gave it to you because he knew it was going to condition you. It was going, it was, it was going to strengthen you. It was going to open your eyes to see that you will never know what's best for you, but God will always know what's best for you. You're about to get everything you prayed for because now you have learned the lesson that what God has for you is better than anything that you can think that you want. 
I remember I started praying the prayer about three, four months ago. God, override my desire and give me your desire. Override the desire I have and give me the desire you have for me. Because sometimes our desires don't fit our lives for where we're going. We pray for where we are in that in that moment. We pray for it in a mindset we have in that moment. And then what happens is as we begin to become the person that God created us to be, we looking around like this don't fit me. I don't like this. I can't be a part of this. This is weird. This is crazy. This is this is stressing me out. This is what all these things, right? And God knew that you were going to get to that place. So he used Every situation that you have been through, he used that condition you now that you won't be so grateful for what he has for you. And so God sent me tonight to tell you that what he's about to do for you, it's about to not only will it blow your mind and not only will it be done quickly. I'm talking about quickly. There's a release that's getting ready to happen that the devil cannot stop. The other day I heard him say demonic distraction that was on Thursday, Thursday night, I heard him so clear say demonic distractions. Okay. A lot of us were tied to things that were demonic distractions. When you have a mantle, you have a call on your life that you need to walk in. The enemy will use anybody that he can to distract you because he understands that I need to stop this person. So I need to distract this person. So it becomes a demonic distraction to take your focus off of God's business and get your focus on whatever that thing is that's trying to distract you. It's called a demonic distraction. And God says, no more. I'm breaking demonic distractions. I'm breaking demonic ties. I'm severing ties and I'm about to give you exactly what you were always supposed to get. I gave you that thing because you desired it, but it didn't, it never served you. It never served you and you served you and you're at the end of it now. You're at the end of it now. And if you would only trust me and let go, I'm about to blow your mind. If you would only trust me and let go, I'm about to show you what I always had for you. Listen. When I say that no demon in hell can stop you now, no demon in hell can stop you now. I don't care what the devil throws. You have tapped in, crossed over, locked the door, sealed it, and ran. Baby, the glory that's on your life, the favor that's on your life, you're about to get every single thing that you prayed for. Please, you're about to get every single thing that you prayed for because you have put in the work now. You've been processed now. You're ready now. You understand that you don't want what you want. You want what God has for you. You are now, for the first time in your life, you are actually ready for the God thing. Everything before this was nothing but a counterfeit. It was to prepare you. If God, if God would have overrode your desire in that moment, what you are begging and praying for, if he would have just overrode that and, 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 and he would have gave you what he had for you, you wouldn't appreciated it. You would have been like, because where you were then your, your thinking was too low about yourself, where you were then your vision was too cloudy. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have understood the greatness on it. You would have tried to tear it up. You would have messed it up because you weren't ready for it. But God says, now you're ready because I took you on a journey that you created. You created this stuff. You desired this stuff. You cried for this stuff. And I gave it to you. And now you've come to the end of that. Now, I don't know if you're waiting for a prodigal to come back. I don't know if you are waiting for your wife, your husband to come back. I don't know if you're waiting for kids, if you're waiting to get married, if you've been waiting for promotion, whatever that thing is that you have been waiting for and crying for and you were getting things, but it, it just like this ain't, this ain't just working. I can never truly connect to this for real. I, I just something that's all, it's something that's really underlying that's always there. And God is saying, because it was never meant to be a part of your destiny, I just used used it to get you to this place now where you say, God, give me what you have for me. I never again want what I think I want. I want what you have for me. God says, and now I'm about to give you what I always had for you. I'm about to blow your mind and give you everything that you ever desired. But in my way, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is going to be one for the books. I'm telling this is going to be one for the books and, and your story about to set people free. There's so many people that's about to be set free 
when they see you come on the scene or what God, this new life, I hear you, God, you're about to have a whole new life. Okay. You're about to have a whole new life. And God says that when you come on the scene with this new life, they going to, people going to be like, oh my goodness, like, wow. And you're going to tell me your story. They're going to be like, mind blown, but it's going to set a lot of them free. It is going to set people free. What God is about to do for you now is about to set people free. It's going to be so powerful that literally people are going to just look at your life and be set free. You don't even going to have to talk. They're going to just look at your life and be set free. Because they're going to be able to see the glory all over it. Everything that you prayed for is about to happen. You weren't ready then for the God thing. No, nah, baby. You weren't ready then, but you ready now. You sacrifice when they did it. You were nice when they were mean. You were loyal when they was completely unfaithful. You still showed up at work even when you knew that they were shortchanging you. You still loved that person even when you knew they was cheating on you. Baby, you took care of those kids even when you knew that those weren't your kids. Everything that you did is about to pay off everything nothing was in vain it was setting you up for the real thing it was setting you up for the real thing i hear god saying victory it's one for the books i'm telling y'all it's one for the books it's one for the books i'm telling you i hear you holy spirit every gift that you have that you haven't been able to walk in. You know why? Because of the connections. You haven't been able to tap into that gift because of the connections. But what's getting ready to come into your life is going to open up every gift that you ever had on the inside of you. Every vision that you have on the inside of you that you can't seem to get it out. I'm telling you, what's getting ready to enter into your life is going to open it up, baby. I, it's, gonna, it's, about to, it's about to open it up, Jesus. It's about to open it up. God is giving you now what he always had for you. Be it a husband, be it a wife, be it a child, be it a business, be it a company, be it wealth, be it family members saved. Whatever that thing is that you desired, but you desired it in your own way. Now you have learned. You have learned some valuable lessons and you have been persecuted. You 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 have sacrificed. You went through you went through so much. You went through so much now and God is like, not only am I rewarding you now for what you prayed for, but I'm rewarding you with it with something that's going to recognize you. I'm rewarding you with it something that has always been yours. This built now this belongs to you. This belongs to you. This knows you. This is going to love you. This is going to see your gifts. This is going to bring them up out of you. It's time now for you to get the real thing. No more start overs. No more setbacks. No more demonic distractions. No more delays. It's time for you now to get the real thing. No more time will be wasted. You are about to get the real thing that God has for you. No more counterfeits. No more counterfeit jobs. No more counterfeit marriages. No more counterfeit wealth. No more counterfeit nothing. You are about to get the very real thing. No more counterfeit ministries. You're about to get the very real thing that God has always had for you because now you will appreciate it. You'll appreciate it. And you're about to get it. And no demon in hell can stop it. No demon in hell can stop it. So if this video comes across your page, if this video comes across your feed, thank God. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him for the journey. All is not lost. God, about, God listen, God's about to blow your mind. It's brand new. It's brand new. There are some people that's getting ready to enter your life that's about to change your whole life. See, when people just deal with anybody and they just they just hop and deal with anybody, it's, but you, you know your value, you know your worth, so you you still, you don't just deal with anybody, anything. It's hard for you to find people that you like, people that you connect with. Yeah, yeah. God is about to put the special person in your life. I'm telling you. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Lord Almighty. Your life about to change. Your life, your, listen, the ties have been severed and you don't even realize it. No more will the enemy be able to play in your face. No more. No more will the enemy be able to, to, to harass you through connections. No more. Because God says, I'm cutting every ungodly connection. I've severed every ungodly connection. I've severed it. And I've severed it in such a way, I'm about to call in now my troops that was always supposed to be there. They were always supposed to be there. But you couldn't handle them because you were your mindset was where you were in that time. But your mindset has changed now because I've revealed to you who you are. You know fully who you are now. You know your worth now. You know you know who I am to you. You know you're connected to me in such a way that you can't settle for just know anything. And it is time now. You have done the work. You have been processed. You are ready now to receive exactly what you pray for. And I'm going to put you right there on front street. I'm going to put you right there for the whole world to see this thing that I've done for you. God says, give me praise right now if you believe it. Ooh, God, bye, bye, bye. Shake it up, I see. Your life about to change, baby. I'm telling you. So get ready and prepare because you're about to meet destiny. You're about you're about to have a head-on collision with destiny. Destiny is clashing into your life. What was always supposed to be is about to be. Every demonic force, every demonic delay, every demonic counterfeit, every spirit of confusion. It's being broke right now in the name of Jesus. You are about to get that husband. You are about to get that wife. You are about to get those children. You're about to get that job. You don't, it's not even about to get it. You're getting it right now. It's entering your life right now. I'm telling you, it is entering your life right now. It's changing the whole dynamic of your life. Never again, we have to worry if you're good enough. Never again, we have to hide certain gifts or uh, dumb yourself down, diminish your light. Never, you're about to walk in the fullness of everything about you, baby. Every gift that you have is about to come up and out of you. Every assignment that God has told you to do, you're about to get, you're about, I'm talking about, you're about to get hastily and start doing it because this person about to push you to do it. I am telling, the winds of change have come. They've come. The winds of change have already swept through and gone. Listen, you're about to catch up to it now. You're about to see why God, why he had to take you through what he took you through. You're about to understand now. You're, you're about to understand now, man of God, woman of God, I'm telling you, you're about to understand. This is one for the books. This is your fairy tale. Yes, it is. And nothing can stop it. You, you, your days of crying is over. Your days of lacking is over. It's over, baby. It is over. It is over. I'm telling you, it is over. It is over. There's about to be like an all-time high of weddings. I'm talking, oh, jeez. There's about to be an all-time high of weddings. The weddings are coming. I see beautiful weddings. I see them coming. I'm telling you, beautiful weddings, they're coming. They are coming. They are coming. And it's going to be genuine. This is going to be real love. This is going to be the love that God had for you all along. This is it. This is it. This is it. He says, tell my people I'm making good on my promises. No, no, no more confusion. No more up and down. No more sad. No, nah, no. Nah, God says no. No, they're not. They're not. They, they can't play in your face no more. No, no, no. We're not doing that no more. God says no. We're not doing that no more. We're not doing that no more. I've severed those ties. I've, I've severed those ties. Listen, baby, rejoice because what God is doing for you is so beautiful. You prayed for this. You prayed for this and you earned it. You earned every bit of it. He's a good man, Samantha. <laughs> I love you guys. Listen, I love y'all so much. I do. I really do. Um, I'll end this video. So I don't know where I'll put this video out. Um, I want to put it out right now. But Holy Spirit, today is today is May 14th. Okay, today is May 14th. And um I'm going to put this video out when the Holy Spirit tells me, like, hey, you can put it out. But today's the 14th. Tuesday is like 10, 15 p.m., okay? I'm going to put this video out. I just got to seek God and see. But when you see this video come across your your channel, your feed, somebody sending it to you, whatever it is, and you, you're going to be able to resonate with it. 
Your life about to change. You about to get what God said belongs to you. And it's not going to be no half step. It No, it's going to be the fullness of it. You're not going to worry about it running off, cheating, you know, getting fired from. No, mm -mm. those days is over. God, like, that's over. That, that's over. That's over. We, we done. That's over. That's, that's over. That's over. So I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all soon in another video. Bye.